watching shows that they're pools. Really? So imagine that you take Joe's River oh my and you bring Joe's River really? to Carlisle Bay. Oh my God. The mouth of Joe's River with the, with the pools of water yeah. and the little waterfalls coming yes. in. So oh, a woman will so take magical. that little pool and another woman will take that pool and they'll wash the clothes oh and then put them out all on the savannah there mm -hmm. on the grass to dry. So, yes. we're, uh, let's put it, go back a bit. Mm -hmm. We're talking about shipping, we're talking about Carlisle Bay. Mm -hmm. But even before that, right. just a little bit about the geology uh -huh. of Barbados yes. that made it such. Mm -hmm. Now, anybody who has a basic knowledge of Barbados geography mm -hmm. will realize that um, it, it, Barbados lies almost beyond the edge of the Caribbean tectonic plate. Mm -hmm. And the tectonic plate of the Caribbean, it circles the entire um, a maritime Caribbean, all down into Central America, Panama, around into Venezuela, Colombia, around Trinidad, and all up the volcanic Caribbees, mm -hmm. uh, Dominica, Saint Lucia, Antigua, and then it comes around by Puerto Rico and uh, Cuba, mm -hmm. Hispaniola. So that whole plate mm -hmm. is moving eastward right. at a centimeter a year. Oy. It moves like uh -huh. that. We don't even notice it's yeah. moving. But what happens is Barbados is this island beyond. Mm -hmm. So the islands are moving like this and you know like the blade of a bulldozer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's Push it pushing together. everything yes. in front of it. Uh -huh. And that is all of the sedimentary layers from millions and millions of years back. And as it was pushed, it rose. Mm -hmm. And then these different coral terraces mm -hmm. developed because mm -hmm. once the um, earth of the silt of the um, sediment of the seabed mm -hmm. got close to the surface coral could grow ah, coral needs light yes. and then it pushed and it went up mm -hmm. the coral died and it continued oh, up yeah. so you have all those terraces from you know mount hillaby yes. going right down through st thomas and st george mm -hmm. and that is where when the rain falls it filters through mm -hmm. and that's why dominique the barbados i should say ha has a lot of streams mm -hmm. because all these streams a lot of them are underground mm -hmm. you go down into Harrison cave and mm -hmm. you see for yourself yes. so what happened is the rainfall comes seeps in mm -hmm. but then every so often it hits that hard clay mm -hmm. either impervious clay mm -hmm. or coral that has um, solidified to the point where no, no water filtration. can get through yeah. so if we just look, I mean, there are lovely springs all around. You have mm. uh, Codrington College, mm, three three houses, yeah. George River. Um, you know, you have Foster Hall mm. and um, all of these various places where these spring. But the thing about Beckles Spring is that it's very near to the seashore. Yes. And it also is near to the Bay of Carlisle Bay. Mm -hmm. That was the main shipping point. Mm -hmm. So in effect, it was providing water for the ships. Mm -hmm. So when all of these ships came from England and various maybe Dutch ships mm -hmm. as well, when they were, had an agreement with Dutch, mm -hmm. um, they would all uh, send out their small boats mm -hmm. and pontoons of barrels, mm -hmm. empty barrels, wooden casks. Mm -hmm and they would line up on the beach and then they would um, put the fresh water mm -hmm. that was coming down from Beckel Spring um, into the barrels and then take them back. So this was a big uh, source of water yeah. for all those sailing ships. Many of them had come all the way from Europe and they yeah. needed to be replenished. Yeah. And the original owner of that plantation was the Beckles, Beckles family. Mm, hence, the hence the Beckles Spring. They, they, um, all and the, Beckles Road. <laughs> yes, and Beckles Road. And of course, they owned all the Bay Plantation, mm -hmm. Bela, what became Bayland and mm -hmm. all that, you know. So they, they apparently would be earning money from, from the, the spring because the water was, was private. Mm -hmm. All your springs were private. It wasn't until much, much later in Barbadian history that the state mm -hmm. basically owns the water. Mm. Yeah, Of course, it makes more sense, mm -hmm. you know, rather than all these private owners. Yeah. So anyway, um, the spring was there, but you see, it, it was also a matter of providing drinking water. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, 
uh, it was a place where all the um, women who collected laundry mm -hmm. from the sailing ships, they would wash the laundry there. Mm -hmm. Barbados was well known, you read it in all the logs of the sailing ships, mm -hmm. that when a ship would come in, particularly if it was a Navy vessel, mm -hmm. the Royal Navy, these women would come out mm -hmm. and during slavery time, sometimes they were slaves that they were doing a little job on the side. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they were free women of color, you know. Mm -hmm. So they would have their bum boats, they call it, like Moses, those Moses oh, boats. Yes. And then they would come alongside and offer laundry services. Then they would take the clothes mm -hmm. and wash them all at Beckel Spring because imagine yeah, imagine what you have to imagine. <laughs> what you have to imagine is that it's all. Uh, you'll see the rocks around it, but it is all filled with silt now. So it's not like it used to be. That's what I'm thinking. But because in the old, what we saw, right? Even growing up as a child, now that I know the location, yeah. it's just a little ditch. That's right. But in those days, and the old pictures of the 19th century with the women washing shows that they're pools. Really? So imagine that you take Joe's River oh my goodness. and you bring Joe's River really? to Carlisle Bay. Oh my God. The mouth of Joe's River with the, with the pools of water yeah. and the little waterfalls coming yeah. in. So oh, a woman will so take magical. that little pool and another woman will take that pool and they'll wash the clothes oh and then put them out all on the savannah there mm -hmm. on the grass to dry and then fold them up or maybe even take them in and um, and uh, iron them mm -hmm. with the old irons mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, then bring them back out to the ship and get paid. And that was a big deal. But in 1854, they had this real terrible um, uh, cholera mm -hmm. um, pandemic in Barbados. Um, epidemic, you could say, mm -hmm. in Barbados. And it is believed that these women, because one or two women died as cholera, mm -hmm. is that they were collecting soiled laundry from these ships oh, that had come from all so kinds of far. places, mm. had come from Central America, some had come mm. from India, some had even come from England, where there was cholera. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, co the cholera, the disease, a bacteria mm -hmm. on the clothes mm -hmm. passed on to the women and the women then passed it on when they went uh, went home to Bayland or up in the other parts of uh, the surrounding areas of Bridgetown. And then you had these massive deaths all over the island, particularly in the, the areas like St. Philip and Christchurch mm -hmm. and all of that. And even on the ships, you know, there are memorials here mm -hmm. um, to to those who died yeah. uh, on those ships. So the Beckel Spring was certainly a um, great advantage and a great center of income. So the development of uh, piped water mm -hmm. from these pumping stations up in the interior of the island, the mm -hmm. first one being at Bowmanston, mm -hmm. um, that changed things mm -hmm. because of course they also had steam pumps operated by steam and that would pump it from way down beneath the earth's crust mm -hmm. and, and then bring it up and then the pipes <coughs> would run across the countryside down to Bridgetown. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that negated places like Beckel Spring becoming a center of washing. People doing their washing in their own yards or at this famous standpipes that were dotted all around Barbados. Um, and uh, as a celebration of the fact that water in pipes, piped water had come to Bridgetown, the um, people who had been involved in getting this uh, pipe water off the ground mm -hmm. Um, they set up the fountain in Hero Square. So the fountain is celebrating the bringing of piped water to Bridgetown. And you can see for yourself that is providing you have that fresh water, um, uh, you know, um, spraying out mm -hmm. in a fountain <laughs> yes, like it, that, yeah. yes. And it would basically bring the point water has reached the Bridgetown in pipe. That That's way. fascinating. I did not know. Yeah. So um, all of these things are tied in, but of course, it's also tied to the, the geology of Barbados. The fact that, all right, you don't see many rivers or streams floating on the surface, 
but there's all this water underneath. Yes. And we've there's got all this cave, like. That's right, the um, cave because it's eating out the soft coral mm. and causing these. Um, mm. And and of course, when even if it's going along the surface, uh, <clears throat> as it goes along the surface, it's eroding the coral. Mm -hmm. So then as it goes deeper and deeper, you get these gullies. Right. And then in some cases, it lower down, it creates caves, mm -hmm. long caves. Yeah. And then sometimes the caves collapse, the roofs of the caves mm -hmm. collapse. So then you have a gully by another route. Mm -hmm. you know? But even today, if you fly over Barbados mm -hmm. and you're going flying down, you're looking, you'll see all these um, gullies, the green, green, the green areas. Yeah, green areas, and then they will go down. And sometimes in um, in certain parts of the, particularly West Coast, they are actually entering the sea, but they're entering the sea underground. Really? So you get these pops of fresh water, wow. you know, yeah. that come out there. Yes. So <laughs> all of these is see what comes, but it does change because technology changes things. So that's a fascinating story of um, Beckel Spring that no longer exists. And, um, and uh, of course, the thing is that the thing is that um, it, it, it's the erosion as well. Mm -hmm. You have all that house building up above mm -hmm. um, because before it was cane fields. Right. And once the house building came and the digging of foundations, mm -hmm. it's all this earth. And then the earth started filling in the yeah. spring and it that was the end of that, you know, although it, it must be still seeping as mm -hmm. it does underneath and then coming out on the beach underneath mm -hmm. and um, that kind of thing. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Lennox. Good. Been... <laughs> so, That's, yes, this has been very, right. very informative. And I'm sure you guys have found it informative, informative as well. Those who have any comments of their memories of Barbados in the early 90s? Well, I was there in 50s, 60s. 50s, 60s. Yeah. Drop us a comment. Let's start a conversation and get some, you know, get some information gathered and put together and, you know, keep it alive. I feel like we need to keep the history alive, the culture alive. It yeah, feels so like it's dying. I always say that, you know, history should be seen from now. Mm -hmm. So they go along and it explains why something is the way it is now. Yeah.